And he said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Now, the foundation of immorality in the last days is deception. And so the whole signs about morality is weaved into deception. A man who is not deceived cannot be immoral. The reason you find many people fall into immoral living in the last days is because they are deluded. And as I go through scriptures, you will understand what I'm talking about. In verse 5, it says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So the reason deception will thrive is because men will want to usurp the authority of God and make people understand that everything God represents, they represent it. So they will not need to keep God's moral standard and still receive what God says he has to offer. So it's not just about saying a person. Now, there are many persons who have come in history who claim that they are Christ. But you see, this thing is telling us something that is deeper than people. Even systems will take the place of God in the last days. So they can come and tell you that forget about all this teaching on faith for divine health. Better adopt medicine. If you don't, you are finished. And then they will project a lot of, a lot of, um, what do you call it now? Plagues. And so people become afraid. And so medicine will become Christ in the life of many people. And when you make medicine your God, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with medicine, but I'm saying medicine is a corridor that the devil will ride on. And when you make medicine your God, the next thing they will come back and tell you, sex is the best form of exercise. If you want to live long, better begin to practice it from the age of 17. And if you practice it regularly, your genes will be, will be built up and you will live long. And many people who have no regard for the real Christ now, who said sex cannot be done outside marriage because the system have become Christ, they will have to substitute the law of Christ and follow the new law that the system prescribes. Because another Lord has been established. And then for those who still refuse, because this thing has taken center stage and it has paralyzed even the government of the day, the government will now start passing laws. And so you go to many nations, your child of 14 years can come home with his boyfriend and they'll be doing exercise. If you talk, you'll be jailed. Because medicine is now Lord. And they will now go further and shift it into perversion. And tell you, there's nothing special about your gender. You are actually what you feel like. Meanwhile, Christ, who is your first Lord, said, we walk by faith, not by sensory perception. But medical science now has become a weapon in the hands of the devil. And so it tells you that your sex is what you feel like. So if you were born a boy and you feel like you are a girl, it's your feeling that determines who you are. And so your father can say nothing because even the government have put an embargo. If he talks anything, he is fighting your will. And so a child of five years, of seven years, who cannot choose the school he goes to, can choose his own gender. And there's nothing your father can do about it. And this is happening now in the world. And then your child, the government will pay for everything. Your child will undergo a surgery. Your child will be, his gender will be changed. And he will become a transgender. And he will become an ambassador to motivate others to follow the delusion. Now, if Christ is Lord, those subjects will not be discussed. The reason we can discuss them is because Christ is no longer Lord. Many Christs have appeared and have deceived many. You know, when you hear things like this, it's possible for you to look at yourself and say, no, no, they are not wise, they are, they are daxed. Hmm. This is
this is not about mental power. I've counseled with a lot of people before. I've seen young men who confide in me and ask for prayer. They are sitting with a fellow young man and a spirit is just pushing them to kiss the person. This is a young man talking with a young man. As they are talking close, he's just feeling a push. Not because he's feeling anything. Kiss the person. And he doesn't know what's happening. Now, if you don't know that this thing is beyond emotion, that spirits are involved, you will allow that thing to begin to mutilate the purity of your soul structure until it will become a stronghold. And then you will fall into that delusion. Now, in fact, what the Bible said is that the reason men will become immoral is because they are deluded. And the reason men are deluded is because they are controlled by seducing spirits. And these seducing spirits will not only seduce men, they will pioneer doctrines of devils. And it is the doctrines of devils and the seduction of these spirits that we make men for. You know, the first man that was created, as original as he was, when the seducing spirit came in form of a serpent, he couldn't resist him. So this thing is not about willpower. It's about the power of the ages to come. Walking in your spirit man. You know, the Hebrew word for the whispers of the serpent is called nakash. That thing that the serpent does, he enters and penetrates the soul and reconfigures the soul structure. If you don't know how to shield yourself from that seduction, you will be shocked that you will not only fall, you will become an ambassador of immorality. Most of the people who are held, heading the gay movement today, there were people before who said they were martyrs. One of the songs we used to sing those days to set ourselves on fire. I heard later that the person who sang it had gone to the other side. He went the way, he moved from martyrdom into gay. How many of you have heard the song? I pledge allegiance to the Lamb. <laughs> That's one of the most powerful songs on earth today. Go and search it. With all my heart, with all my strength, I approve <laughs> to honor hey. him. He said, I pledge to honor his commands. I, I pledge allegiance. allegiance. To the Lamb. Before the song start, started, he was talking to his son. And he was telling him, in case they matter us. And they come for you. This should be your stand. This should be your testimony. Somebody who was baptized with the spirit of martyrdom. What happened? Nakash. The whispers of the serpent. It penetrated the soul. You know what the Bible calls them? He said they are deluded. Let me read some scriptures. So that you will know why you must understand the sign of deception and know how to combat it. Hmm. The song now wants to take me somewhere else. Play it on the keyboard. His company, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb. Ah. Can you project that song? I want to show you something so that you will know the weight of this man in the spirit. I begged myself for many days, I said, This thing is a lie. Can we find that song? Let me show you something. This is Bible study. It's not fire service, so but don't worry. Hmm. Kai, kora balakai, lelo kavina anta saliga axtos kafradana. Oh, raba baba kai. Hear 
the lyrics. I have heard how Christians long ago were brought before a tyrant's throne and they were told that he would spare their lives if they would renounce the name of Christ but one by one they choose to die the Son of God they would not deny like a great angelic fire they sang I can almost hear their songs hmm. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb with all my strength with all I am I will seek to honor his command I pledge allegiance to the Lamb See, no, we will sing the song later let the choir get it I don't want to go up first how can a man who had this kind of body what did they tell him what was and you here who is still falling and standing up every two months you say you are ready the depth of deception that will come in the last day is in the order of the serpent it's called nakash is the whisper it enters the soul and it reconfigures man can we honor god's servant pastor here lady michelea and his wife all the way from gombe oh i didn't know you were coming you would have been the one to teach us these things they, those of them in the north they leave what we are teaching now welcome sir it's good to have you welcome man and so while will seduction why will deception thrive and why will immorality take the center stage because seducing spirits will appear on the scenes in the last days hear what the bible said first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 i'm saying this so you don't deceive yourself and say i am strong you will need to run into the everlasting arms of God. He said, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Why? Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So it is spirits and devils that seduce, that will deceive men through men and make men to become immoral now what is the goal of immorality what is the purpose the devil wants to achieve romans okay second thessalonians 2 11 first then romans 1 from verse 21 i want to show you the two things the devil wants to achieve that makes him sponsor deception and implant immorality in the souls of men number one is to bring them into delusion the bible said and for this cause god shall send strong delusion and they should believe a lie so when this thing happens god will allow for these people to become deluded and so lies will become their doctrine so most of these people who are advocating for the gay movement advocating for all of this evil they are not doing it because they want to sponsor something evil they actually believe it is the best way to go they think is the rights of men they think people should be allowed
to do what they believe they should do they think they are fighting for the liberty of men that's why they will give their monies they will give their time they will use their influence because they are deluded now they have believed a lie they will die for it thinking they are doing humanity a favor but it's a departure from the ordinances of God so the reason for this immorality is to provoke delusion hear what the Bible said in 1st Corinthians 2 11 2 12 when these spirits come they blind men they say now we have not received we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we should know the things which are freely given to us by God. So the Spirit of God helps you to know the things of God. But when you don't have the Spirit of God and the Spirit of the world takes over, 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3 and 4, hear what the Spirit of the world does. He said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, whom the God of this world, verse 4, whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shall shine unto them. So when people come under the influence of the spirit of the world, they become blinded and then they believe a lie. So there will be great delusion in the souls and in the minds of men. And this delusion will be so much that for some, a whole nation will be deluded. Now, when I'm teaching you about the judgments of God, there are five cadres of judgment. The last cadre of judgment is when the nations are judged. You know, when the new Jerusalem appears, the overcomers will be invited into the new Jerusalem. But there are others who will be in the nations. The Bible said the leaves that will grow in the streets of the new Jerusalem shall be for the healing of the nations. So there are certain nations that will pass the test of the judgment of God they will be included in what God is doing but there are other nations like Sodom and Gomorrah that will be completely wiped out from existence and so this delusion can affect individuals systems and nations these spirits are that powerful so the reason you see immorality everywhere is not about feeling it's not about pleasure it's so that you become deluded you become blind to the things of God you now believe a lie and then you start living a lie and at the end of the day that's why I told you when you live like this don't make the mistake of assuming that before you die you will repent that is also delusion you will live this lie and you will die in it you will die because it's a programming you are already blinded you have become vain in your understanding that's what prosperity that's what immorality wants to do to make you vain vain you cannot receive the things of God you can't understand the things of God you can't participate in the things of God in 1st Corinthians 2 14 it said the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God neither can he know them he said they are spiritually discerned Ephesians 1 17 and 18 he said do not walk as the Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind he said these ones have their understanding darkened so they can no longer participate in the commonwealth of israel so when you think any immoral thing you do is about your feeling and you ask god to forgive you you don't know where you are you are in the last days and what the devil is doing is to sponsor immorality to darken the souls of men and to make men live a lie this is why we fight to be pure this is why we battle it we preach it with aggression we leave it with aggression because if you don't leave it you will be exonerated my brothers and sisters number two why does the devil sponsor immorality through deception romans 1 verse 21 to 28 hear what the bible says it said because that when they knew not God, that when they knew God, I beg your pardon, they glorified him not as God. Neither we are thankful. Hope you are seeing the consistency. Because these ones that bring this deception, they come as Christ. He said, many will come and say, I am Christ. So the first thing is to take the place of God in your life. It can be a man, it can be a system, 
it can be a government it can be an institution anything that wants to take the place of god in your life is a weapon the devil will use to delude you he said this ones they knew god but they did not glorify him as god why because another christ has taken over and as they did not glorify him of god he said they were not thankful and so they became vain in their imagination you see the delusion again and the foolishness of, and in the foolishness of their heart he said they were darkened verse 22 he said professing themselves to be wise they have become fools the word fools used here is morons they have become morons they are beside themselves they are out of their minds they are saying things that are outrightly foolish but they can't see it they have become morons and so there are many nations today that are dominated by morons no matter how big they think they are the bible said they are morons because they are deluded they are beside themselves when you find people carry placards and they are fighting to change the agenda they are fools that's what the bible said when you find people carry placards and they are contesting that abortion should be legalized no matter how exalted that nation appears in the eyes of men they are fools i'm telling you people who have understanding they go to america today because god is sending them and those who are not sent they are living there it's only a man who doesn't understand the season that is thinking greener pasture are you a cow america 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 what are you going to do is god sending you you don't understand the times that nation now should be a place of the convergence of warriors men who can stand and have enough power in the spirit to look at darkness and to judge those spirits so that the minds of men can become sane it's not a place to go look for greener pasture that's a warfare ground where the souls of men are being traded and you say it's a place for greener pasture what pasture you don't have understanding of the times if god is not sending you there that place is a risk i can tell you today by all of there are many people today they are subscribing to home lessons private education you can't allow a a, a lawyer went to to his to the school of his child and he, he found some of the books they were giving them to read children of seven years and the books they were teaching them they claim it is sex education and they were teaching them they were unveiling pornography outright pornography to them and encouraging them to practice and the man was reading it i said how can you expose my child they were stopping him he said why are you stopping me from reading it if you have given it to my child who is seven years old why are you ashamed that i'm now reading it out because they know what they are doing and when you say it the way we are saying it now they start shutting down your voice The moment I started attacking gay, attacking lesbianism, attacking those things, they started sh shadow boxing my, my messages online. You put message, message that is shoot 100,000, reduces to 50, and they will tell you boldly, this message cannot be heard in some nations. That is to tell you that every internet platform today has material censored. There are some words you call, it appears on their database. And so they try to shut your voice so that they cannot be heard. If they shut it on one, we enter another one. And as God is empowering us, very soon we will start building our own. Deluded generation. He said they profess themselves to be wise. He said, but they have become fools. They have become morons. Go to verse 23. He said, and have changed the glory of God, the incorruptible glory of God, into the image like to corruptible man, to birds, to four-footed beasts, and to creeping things. He's trying to give you the progression of idolatry. Because idolatry, if you study it, it began with this worship of creeping objects. From creeping objects to four-footed beasts men men were worshiping things that creeped like serpents they now migrated to things like cows they now migrated to worshiping men and that's why somebody's skin color